what's up everybody back with another hitting the steel video so without sounding like a cheesy infomercial if you're like me and have a busy life that sometimes makes getting to the gym tough what do you do but it's serious it's like you know if you're like me i'm moving of course you're working you have uh family obligations and things of that nature sometimes it does make it difficult to get into the gym um, and really get it in like you want to. So basically, like for me, what I've had to do is is sometimes substitute maybe volume. Sorry, I thought I heard something. Volume for intensity. So, and that's what today's workout I'm going to be focused on is doing that. So um, it was chest day, and so. I was very compressed for time. I was like, I got to figure out a way to compress, you know, an hour or whatever worth of intensity into the, the 30 minutes that I had. And so I found drop sets was an easy way to do that, um, which of course it's nothing new. People have been doing that for years. Um, I will do workouts like this on occasion and have found them to be very beneficial for me. Um, oftentimes I'm quite sore the next day and then it offers a good change of pace. So what the, the, the movements of today's workout is, uh, of course, flat bench, uh, incline and decline bench. Um, all I'll start, I'll actually pyramid down, uh, for those of you who may not be familiar with that concept. So I start with the weight I might normally use on my third or fourth set, go to failure, shed some weight, boom, 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 go, shed some more weight, boom, 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 and then I'll, you know, two or three drops and I'm done. So that was the cadence for all the movements and um, kind of went from there. So, I've talked for two minutes. So I'll go ahead and get into the workout and then of course at the end, I'll uh, have exactly uh, the drops and what I did and whatnot. Um, so, Without any further ado, let's get to today's workout. First, we just have flat bench press here. And normally, the weight here would normally be what I'd have for my first working set. But because of the nature of today's workout, this is actually uh, considered my warm-up set. <clears throat> and what you'll see with most of the, the warm-up sets, I'm using air quotes here, are in the 10 to 12 range to try to not only warm the muscle up, but get a good pump as well. Now, I'm starting my first working set for this, excuse me, particular round at, as you can see, 225, have that picture. And <clears throat> what you do is you just go until you can't go anymore. And look back to that point, and then I just rack the weight, and I drop down to 185. And the same rule applies. <clears throat> go and go until you can't push out another rep and what you'll see if you get it to that point rack the weight and uh, drop the weight again <clears throat> so this one actually came back full circle because i ended up right when i started at 135 and you just push until you can't push anymore and the crazy thing is normally 135 is really light but from all the work that you've done, you can barely get eight reps. And that's what I was going for with this, this work. Which is to make what's normally easy difficult. All right. So the second exercise, as you can see, is incline bench. And again, I'm starting off with, it looks like, 165, which typically is around the, the weight I would go for a second set in your standard uh, three the four set format um, but I just decided to kind of get right into it and just ramp up the weight without really jumping in with the warm-up because my chest was already kind of tired just from the previous set so you can see I'm dropping I'm shaving 10 pounds off here which will take us to let's take us to 155 next up And it's funny because this one, man, this is an exercise that's, ooh, I won't mess that up. I think I hit the, the stops there. Um, in this gym, it seems like the stops go out further than normal. Wow. 
I really only got one right there. See? That's how effective this workout can be. 155 pounds, and I can only get one rep. And I mean, I'm not the strongest dude in the world. So I ain't no pushover neither. I'm not weak as a walk. So, drops me down to 135 for what's left of this set, what's left in the tank, which is not a lot at this point. That's what I was going for. So, with this, you just go until you can't go. And if you do it right, 135. Oh. So third in today's chest workout lineup is decline bench press. Uh, my lower pecs have always been a problem area for me. Um, so I usually try to really concentrate on these even more so than I do on my other chest exercises. So I started off today with 185 because I was feeling uh, I was really feeling the effects of the earlier sets and I actually just left this part in because I thought it was funny watching me struggle to get off the, out of that bench. Um, I just thought it was funny. Anyway, so I dropped down to 165 for the second set. <clears throat> and even, it's just crazy to me. Like 165 is usually... You see, my arm was shaking right here. That's usually a weight that I blow right through. And, like, I'm just working. I could barely get it six or seven times. All right, so the last drop was a 135. And by now, and this 135 feels like about 225. So, before you blow off, oh, you're only pushing 135. If you put in your previous work right, you'll have a hard time. You see my arm shaking right there. Uh, so, I just didn't have any energy to do any more. I could barely get off the darn, <laughs> off the darn bench right there. So, once that was done, finished off with uh, four sets of chest press here on the machines. I just like to finish these off uh, to get a good pump. And it's a little easier on my shoulders than other chest movements. And <clears throat> by the end I had a good pump and that concluded today's workout. So there was my chest workout there. And it's one of those workouts that I do, like I alluded to earlier, where <clears throat> you may be pressed for time, but you still want to be able to have a good intense workout. You can try this um, and it'll definitely get you sore the next day. So um, yeah, if you want, try it out and let me know what you think. Uh, let me know how you felt. And um, if there's anything you think I should add to it, you know, I'm, I'm always, willing to try something new to see how it works and then incorporate it into to what I'm doing. Because like I said, this channel is not necessarily um, coming from the standpoint of me being a fitness expert. This is me sharing my fitness journey with everybody. You can see the ups, the downs, the trials, the errors. And perhaps through that, um, maybe like I said, somebody can learn something, you know, maybe be inspired or whatever. And hopefully at the end of the day that it just helps some people. Uh, so, <clears throat> I'll be back on Friday with another workout, uh, so be sure to stay tuned. Thank everybody for watching. Make sure you like and, and uh, hit the bell so you, know, you, you get notifications of all my videos and everything. Thank you, uh, everybody, for watching. Be back soon. Keep lifting.